This is a pretty straightforward project. Not a lot of talking is needed. So just sit back and watch. What we're gonna do here is make a base for a homemade anvil. And this log is from a tree that fell down in the windstorm last year. And we want the surface of the anvil to be 36 inches from the ground. So when my son uses a hammer with a homemade forge, and I'll put a link up in the uh, upper corner, we're going to cut the base off square, and then hopefully we're going to cut the base off square. Got to be square. And then we'll measure and we'll cut the top piece. So here we go. The first chore is to start this uh, chainsaw up that hasn't been started up since the windstorm. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. There should be a primer bulb here someplace. A little hearing protection. We'll let the young man do the heavy lifting. Looks like we got that pretty much straight up and down. How high did you say you wanted the surface of the anvil? 36 inches? Okay, we'll cut it here. Get that in, would you please? It will go faster that way. Let's do a little cleanup. This is the air gun that I made the modification to. I'll put a link to that up in the corner also.
You got any idea what kind of wood that is? Maple? So, in the base of the anvil are four holes, and what we're going to do is mark those holes on the top of the stump, and then we'll drill some holes and put some six-inch lag bolts in with some big washers to hold the anvil to the top of the stump. time since I used this electric drill. So let's put the holes in. Would an old wrench tuner use to put the lag bolts in? An impact gun, of course. surface of the anvil looks pretty level. So, ceremonial first hit? Yeah. Alright. The triway is not very flat. He picked a spot that wasn't flat. You're the wrong side, so the camera can't see. Ah. Well, you know, I kind of need the heel of the hammer to bend. Turn, turn, turn it around. <laughs> that's an awful lot of work. And that's why the stump is rock, rocking. We could widen the base and get a uh, quarter inch piece of steel, two by two, and hold it to the bottom. And that would improve the stability. So we've reached the end of the video. If you liked it, please right. click the like and subscribe. Have a good day.